it wasn't a film that got a lot of attention per se at Sundance, but for me, it was a turning point. The very first time I ever got to come to Sundance. There's a lesser known movie called Manic. Zoe Deschanel is in it, Don Cheadle is in it. And it was the first time I got to do some like really heavy, serious, intense, dramatic acting. You know that it doesn't have to be that way. So it doesn't have to be that way. It was shot on little digital camcorders, which at the time were sort of new and lower quality. And the movie was in this kind of subsection for digital movies. It wasn't a film that got a lot of attention per se at Sundance, but for me, personally, it was a turning point. This guy, Chris, thought it was really funny. Now he doesn't think it's so funny. I'd always wanted to come to Sundance. I grew up loving, you know, Reservoir Dogs and Swingers and Sling Blade and Big Night and these kinds of movies that came through Sundance. And meanwhile, I was on Third Rock from the Sun and loving doing that, but just wanting to be in Sundance movies. And no one thought I could be in Sundance movies. I was the kid from Third Rock from the Sun and 10 Things I Hate About You. The fact that I noticed, and this is a direct quote, listen, really meant something. You know, you can talk about victories that the world recognizes, where the world says like, oh my God, this is so great. And like, it's incredible because it seems like Flora and Son, that's happening for this movie right now. The, the reception was so great. But Manic changed something for me, really believing for myself that I could do that, that I could act in a Sundance movie. And I would say that even more important than the world saying you're good is you knowing that for yourself. It should be pretty cool, right?